Okay. Hello everyone. The importance of mix, mingle, and market your brand is to network, to connect, to fellowship, to join in with a bunch of entrepreneurs to learn exactly what it takes to be the brand you want to be. To be your best representation of yourself, whether it's on social media, your websites, and the community. However, mix, mingle, and market your brand is the thing right now. It's going on all over the country. Why not do it here in our city? When you're creating a brand, there's a lot of emphasis on making this perfect image, this almost fictitional character. When I tell people that they're creating their brand, I tell them, go back inside. When are you in your happy place? That moment when you have the most joy, document that. What are you wearing? What does it sound like? What are you hearing? What are you seeing? That is your brand. Okay, the importance of choosing the name for your brand represents you. Your name would define who you are and what your brand represents. I understand if you cannot get that name at the beginning, take a breather, pray about it. God will give it to you. It's also good if you can use your name for your brand because you are your brand. That is the importance of making, creating a name for your brand. All right, so my name is Tamara Bates, and I am a, um, I say I'm just a bridge connector, um, connecting people. And one thing that I mentioned today during the panel is staffing your weakness. And that's important if you don't know how to do something or if you don't know something, it's best for you to go out to get knowledge from someone who does or people who know their craft well. So staffing your weakness is pretty much will favor you in the long run because you'll have a team of individuals who are experts in their um, who are experts in their own experience, and so just pretty much doing what you need to do to always, you know, staff your weaknesses because we have a lot of strengths. Also, we have a lot of weaknesses. So your weaknesses you can turn them to strengths by you know bringing people on your team that's good. At, that's what they do. So um, always kept it at the forefront of whatever I do. You know. If I'm not a graphic designer, I'm gonna call somebody that's a graphic designer. You know, if I'm not a great writer or if I need like a blur, call somebody who writes press releases. And so just always finding somebody that's you know good in their craft. So that's pretty much staffing your weakness. It's a big plus.